This is the video that I promised uh, where I'm going to give some detailed closure on how to determine whether the verb in your correct sentence structure is going to be singular or plural. Now, right off the bat, I'll just give you closure on that. The plurality or singularity of a verb depends entirely upon the plurality or singularity of the cause of your correct sentence structure. Now, of course, this presupposes that you have a rudimentary knowledge of correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, of which you can gain by studying this YouTube channel right here that you're watching. Believe it or not, I still get emails and questions in the comments section from people saying, Jason, where can I learn this? Do you know any teachers? <laughs> it happens. So I'll leave that there. If you are familiar with the way the sequencing of positionals works, in other words, the cause, concern, verb, possessive, concern, possessive, authority, then you know what a cause is in a correct sentence structure. Each positional has one function in accordance with the rule one, rule equal. One word, one meaning, one positional, one function. For, the positional for has the function of cause. The positional of has the function of concern. Now, years ago, I used to teach, instead of the word concern, I would use the word consequence. However, I have found through more knowledge that consequence has a particle of negation in it. So I've taken that out of my construct because my loyalty is to the facts and the correctness. And I use the word concern. But in any case, I'm using plain English to convey this. So whatever you're comfortable with is up to you. However, I prefer to be uh, loyal to the facts and to the correctness, I use the word concern. And the third positional is with, which has one function, and that is possessive. And then the fourth and final positional is by, which serves the function of authority. So that's four positionals, four of, with, by. Each positional has one congruency. Four is congruent with by, by is congruent with four. Of is congruent with with, with is congruent with of. And this maintains the mathematical interface on the grammar when you read the sentence forwards and when you choose to read it backwards, it holds the same value, just like a math problem. Hence, mathematical interface. So this video is strictly concerned with the verb and how the cause determines whether a verb is plural or singular. Two verbs, is and are. And as we move forward, you're going to see how a lot of times the most common mistake is when people see the concern or the consequence, the of the, they will see that people base the plurality or singularity of the verb on that, which is not correct. And I'm going to give closure to that right now. I went to Google to start off this research project in this video. Uh, and I just asked, what causes a verb to be singular or plural in the fiction? And it says, as you can see here, subjects and verbs must agree with one another in number, singular or plural. Thus, if a subject is singular, its verb must also be singular. If a subject is plural, its verb must also be plural. Subjects and verbs must agree with one another in number. Thus, if a subject is singular, its verb must also be singular. And same thing for plural. A phrase or clause between the subject and the verb does not change the number of the subject. And so on and so forth. This can be transferred over to correct sentence structure communication, parse, syntax, grammar. 
by simply taking the concept of what a subject is and using that as the cause of the correct sentence structure claim. And then when it says a phrase or a clause between subject and verb here, that could be translated to meaning the concern of a correct sentence structure for the fact of the fact. Okay. What is a subject? Case, subject matter, issue, matter, material, business, affair, study, object, question, idea, topic, course, theme, substance, thought, item, discussion, problem, proposal, point. You can see what's going on here. You see how it's not that difficult to see that this is what could be considered the cause of the correct sentence structure. And then if we look up some synonyms for cause, origin, matter, genesis, source, so on and so forth, you will see some of the same words in subject as you will in cause. So now let's look at an example. This is a fiction babble sentence. The judge of these courts is immune to prosecution. The subject is the judge and it's singular. So therefore the verb is singular. Now, if you were to say, Would that be correct? The judges of this court is immune to prosecution. No, that doesn't make sense because judges is plural. So now we would put are in there. The judges of this court are immune to prosecution. Take this concept, keep it in mind when I switch to the dry erase board to give you an example of this and clarification and closure of this using correct sentence structure, communication, parsley, syntax, grammar, mechanics. As you can see, this is the page uh, that I'm taking my example from, from this book. And here we have the example. E.E., e., page 79, for the trust claims, number 14, and I've graphed it to make it easier to see. Now, first of all, I'm going to run through and address some other errors that are going on here. First of all, this E.E., e., which is hand, as you saw there, was handwritten in there, has not been positioned. We don't know what that is. There's no colon in front of it. It's not abbreviated. There's no position lodial phrase. It's just a pronoun floating in a sea of space. Same thing with this number. If numbers are facts, facts need to be positioned with a position lodial phrase. Otherwise, they are not facts. Facts must be positioned. This has not been positioned. Then we have this. However, because these have not been positioned, now this is fiction babble and the rest of it is fiction babble. This number has not been positioned. Same reason as that. Even though there's a tilde there, it, 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 there has not been preceded by a position lodial phrase. And then we have for the rules of the fiction immunity, vowel in front of a consonant, vowel in front of two consonants, as a matter of fact, no contract word. And then we have cause, concern, verb, possessive, and then we have a concern ending it. So there's no authority in this sentence. And a correct sentence structure must start with a cause and end with an authority in order to be to carry that certification that a math problem would carry when you do it forwards and backwards. This does not work because this is not by the, it's of the. So it's not correct. So I'm just addressing those small issues. And now we're going to move on to the main issue, which is the verb. 
as I shared with you in the previous section, the subject of a sentence determines what the verb is going to be, whether the verb is going to be singular or plural. In correct sentence structure, there are two verbs, is, singular, and are, plural. And in the domain of the fact, the cause functions sort of as the subject. So the cause determines the plurality or singularity of the verb, not the concern or consequence, but the cause. So in this case, the cause is plural, but here we have the verb, which is singular. So this is not correct. If it said, for the rule of the fiction immunity, now it would be singular is, but it's not. In the book, it is for the rules. So this verb, in order to be correct, would have to be R, because the cause is plural, the verb is plural. It doesn't matter what this is. The only thing that affects the plurality or the singularity of the verb is the cause. Cause, concern, verb, possessive. And then if this is to be correct, it would have to be by the. Because now, mathematically, we can go backwards. Just I mean, the same as a math problem for the judge of the fiction language format. And then the verb would have to be is, because judge is singular. So going backwards, the verb would be is, with the fiction immunity. By the rules. So now we have the cause, concern, verb, possessive, authority going backwards. Now here's a sentence I just came up with on the spot. It's, for the claim of the facts are with the correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, by the mechanics. Is this correct? Because this is something I see a lot of people doing. What they will do is, they will look, and if they see that this word is plural, they will make their verb plural. That is not correct. As I stated, and I showed with full closure and clarity in the last sections of this video, the thing that determines the plurality or singularity of the verb is the cause. So in order for this to be R, this would have to be claims. For the claims of the facts, R, with the correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, by the mechanics. Backwards, it still works the same. For the mechanics of the correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, R, with the facts, by the claims. Because this is plural. Now, if I said this, well, even if I did say this, this is singular. And if you read it backwards, this would have to move to a position of plural, to a condition of state of plurality, because mechanics is singular. I'm sorry, mechanics is plural. In order for the verb to stay singular, it would have to be by the mechanic, which is singular. For the mechanic of the correct sentence structure is. But if reading it backwards, that's a plural. Now this becomes a plural. Because going forward, cause, concern, verb, possessive, authority. Going backwards, cause, concern, verb, possessive, authority. That is how the plurality and singularity of the verb 
works in a correct sentence structure. I hope you found this video to be helpful and I hope it gives closure on the plurality and singularity of the verb and how to determine that. Um, I've ha I have addressed this in other videos. It just seems that uh, I find that nine times out of ten people that ask questions have not viewed my YouTube channel and perhaps they're just looking for me to just tell them and hand it to them. But I have found through my own learning experiences that it's better to do your own research and try and find it yourself, especially when I'm standing here telling you that the closure is on my YouTube channel, the very one that you're on right now. If you take the time to study the videos that I took the time to create, you will find the answers in there. And if you need further help, you can always contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com to see if you qualify for the confidential one-hour grammar workshops that I provide. Not everybody gets can, can, can take those. You have to apply for it. I have to see where you're at, and I have to see if our personalities are congruent, and if you're open to learning, and if I'm, I'm open to teaching you. I'd love to teach everyone. The thing is, not everyone wants to learn. So... It is what it is. There's room for everyone out there. I appreciate you watching this video. Subscribe if you like. Hit the like button. I appreciate those things. They mean a lot to me. And I'll see you soon.